All right, got a short one for you today on, <clears throat> excuse me, using the Pomodoro timer with Room Research. It's gonna be a really handy feature, especially maybe you're doing something like I do where you wanna write, maybe it's a newsletter, an article, whatever it is you're doing and you wanna keep track on that page so you don't have to use an external timer, whatever the case may be. Now, there's a few things you can do and there's a few things you should know about how they work. So we're gonna get into that using the Pomodoro timer. So real quick, if you haven't seen me before, I'm Adam with Productivity Academy. Uh, if you'd like to stay up to date with videos like this, things on productivity, time management, team building, automation, all that sort of good stuff, you can subscribe to the channel or head over to productivity.academy. Now, let's talk about this. Uh, the way you bring it up, of course, is with the backslash. Hopefully you're familiar with that. And you can start to type it and hit uh, enter and you'll bring it up right there. Now, really basic, uh, but what you've got right here is the time and minutes. And the base is 25. So a lot of people will do 25 and five, but the idea behind Pomodoro timers, which I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going into because presumably you already know what they are because you found this video, uh, but you can of course change this to whatever you want it to be. So let's say you wanna do a 45 minute. Some people like a little bit longer time blocks. And of course, like anything else, you have to um, go to a new line to see that uh, change. Now, when you click start, it of course starts, okay? So everything up to here is good. But let's say uh, you're working on a page for more than one uh, Pomodoro timer. Then you may wanna set up a new one. A lot of times, you know, when this comes to an end, you might say, oh, well, I'll just go back and we'll start a new one, right? Even delete it all and spell it correctly and then go on to the next one. But if you do that, you can see here, it actually just goes back to whatever the last one was. So if you want to start a new one, you actually have to start a new line. And this can take kind of different way, uh, different uh, appearances, I guess you call it. But the easiest way is just to do a new line like I showed you. Um, you may wanna just go down to the new one, depending on how your page is set up. This may not be at the very top, um, but you can go ahead and do it that way. Now, you can see that it changed up here because I made a mistake and I was gonna go back and look at my notes on what I had done, but I think this is actually more useful to show how it's working and how even I got confused setting this up because this can be a little odd. So for example, I just went with the stock 25 minutes and let's go back and do what I did before. We go back and do Pomodoro. Hit enter, we're back at the same thing. However, let's do Control A and Delete and now go back and do that. Boom, start it over, okay? And you might also have something, let's say you're writing, you've got multiple sections, we'll call this section one, we have section two, and then we're writing in here and we wanna put a Pomodoro timer in here. Okay, so we go off and we start doing that. Now what we can do, let's see what happens here. If we go back and highlight, and then I'm gonna hit delete, and then actually get rid of the row, and then let's recreate this. Okay, starts over again. Now let's see what happens if we actually just delete the content, but don't delete the entire row. So we're gonna go back, highlight this, delete, and bring one back. What happens now? Okay, goes back. So you just actually need to delete the entire row, and then when we come back, just like we saw before, it's working. So complete with some mistakes uh, while doing this. Just wanted to share some of the tips on how to set this up and how it can be a little confusing sometimes even for myself. Um, so if you're having any issues and you just can't seem to get rid of the pesky Pomodoro timer once you wanna reset it, just make sure you delete the entire row that it's on uh, and that will do it. And like we saw, if you're using the very top uh, row on the page, let's do this again. We bring up Pomodoro, Pomo timer, we've got it. And if you wanna get rid of that, I'm gonna highlight it all, press delete, and let's try that again. That actually should not do it, watch this. But it does. <laughs> so the way I would do it would just be a control, uh, select all, control A, delete the section, and that appears to do the trick. So anyway, it's kind of fun with that. It can be a little confusing even to myself. Hopefully this helps you so you can see how you can uh, quickly avoid any issues, basically just deleting that anything on the entire row. Um, or using some uh, indentation to put it where you want it.